something a little different on this episode of Tim Kreitz Adventures. You all have asked me over and over again to do touring vlogs. When your band goes on tour, goes on the road, do a vlog about it. And I have resisted doing that on all but just a few special occasions because it's hard. It's hard enough being on the road, taking the band on the road, setting up, sound checking, playing the show, tearing down, driving. It's hard to vlog while you're doing all that. Being a professional musician is work. Not a lot of people understand that. So I thought I would go the extra mile and do as you guys asked. And I'm gonna take you on the road this weekend. Tonight we play in Pecos, Texas at a little venue called the Ice House, Freddy's Ice House. And uh, before we get on the road, I've gotta to go to the music store. This is my buddy Ben's music store. And I'm going in here because I've got to get a couple of instrument cables and I need guitar strings. I'm just about out of guitar strings and he is closed. Darn, closed Saturday. Okay, now I'm going to have to do without those cables because you ain't going to get them to arrive via Amazon in the next two hours, no matter how good Prime is. Darn it! I had no idea he wasn't open on Saturday. All right, well, we got plenty of other stuff we need to do to get ready, so let's just get this little shindig underway, shall we? All righty, I'm back at the house, getting all the cameras and everything pulled off of the bike, get them back on the charger so I can take them tonight. Start to get everything put away. What I need to do before I do anything else is I need to figure out what strings I've got here. And it looks like I've got a bunch of a bunch of stragglers and a couple of sets of bright wire nines. That that's fine. I'll take those. I don't really like to use nines on my Eric Johnson Stratocaster, but if an emergency happens and I pop a string, at least I know I've got something I can put on it. Uh, which that brings up a whole other deal, and that is, do I want to take a backup guitar tonight? It's just another thing to have to take that I probably won't need, and I know I'm going to play that Strat all night. I don't know. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm here in the audio video suite, and I got choices on what to take. Now, I could take another Stratocaster. I've got three more Stratocasters, but I thought, why, why take two Stratocasters? Let's take maybe a Les Paul. So, the red here, Frankenstein, is my 70s tribute custom Les Paul. This is my 59 lawsuit Les Paul. Uh, my studio Les Paul, and then this guitar here, this is the Bonehead Guitars Tim Kreitz Signature Series model. I may take it, even though I have been playing it a lot lately, because it's such a great guitar. It was built to my specifications by Bonehead Guitars. If any of you guys out there are interested in guitar and want to have one of these built for yourself, just call Scott Green at Bonehead Guitars. In fact, he has a YouTube channel that I will link and tell him you would like for him to build you a Tim Kreitz Signature Series guitar. And he will build you one of these. And it'll play just like Tim Kreitz likes it set up. <laughs> All right, let's take uh, any Meeny Miny mo. Let's take the lawsuit Les Paul tonight. The band trailer is at Matt's house. We rehearse over there, and that's where we keep the trailer. We're gonna have to strike some equipment we are using in the rehearsal room and get it loaded up. I've got a bag packed. We're gonna be staying over the night. The venue got us a room nearby, hopefully. So that way we don't have to worry about driving 120 miles back after the show ends at 1.30. Anyway, let's head to Matt's, and get the rest of the stuff loaded up, and then get out on the interstate for that long drive. Be happy to see me. <laughs> this is why recording studios have cats. Loading up road cases. You know, I thought for sure we'd have somebody to do this for us by this point in our musical careers. <laughs> Isn't it funny how life sucks and your dreams always die? Yeah. Yeah. Get a shot of Matt's sexy butt. 
In this video, it's gonna look like I don't load or unload anything because I'm just filming everything. <laughs> Dude, at the very end, let me hold the camera and you put in something really light. Gotta get a shot of Tim loading something. Man, loading, rolling. loading is hard work, man. Just like really heavy stuff. And you have to put it in there just right. You okay? You need a drink? about 20 miles from the gig I wanted to take this opportunity to let everybody know that Brit bought a motorcycle Yay! you realize it's been almost two years since you appeared on a motorcycle in an episode of Tim Kreitz Adventures I know it. they've just been going downhill ever since yeah I know man they have sucked the views have gone down <laughs> Dude, your absence from the channel over the past couple of years has essentially killed it so now it's your responsibility on putting it all on your shoulders to revive this dying son of a bitch. <laughs> all right, sound check went well. We're checking into the hotel now. Sound check was crap. Don't let Tim tell you otherwise. Shut up. Shut your face. It was a rough sound check, but we got it. Should be one uh, super ultra mega rock star suite for the Tim Kreitz band. <laughs> Was fun. Now it's time to head home. Oh yeah, hotel breakfast. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. A little upset that you do not have a Texas waffle though. Oh yeah, the Texas shaped it waffle. It's different when it's Texas shaped. Yeah. Well, that was good times, boys. I think as soon as I get home, I'm gonna sleep for the rest of the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed it. I guess we'll know soon enough, and we'll know if we need to do more videos like this. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Tim Cry's Adventures. Bye. Bye. Peace. Yeah.